Hello, welcome to Spurred On. This is Spurverts. I'm Rhys James and I'm here with Craig Mitch, as always. Now, Spurverts, as you know, is the show where we talk about how excited we are about what's happening with Spurs. And we are excited, but nowhere near as excited as one Kevin Wimmer. Or Wimmer. I don't know how you pronounce his name. I don't know what it is. What do you reckon? Uh, I'm going to go with Wimmer because I'm English. Uh, you know, we don't let's really... give him Wimmer when we win a game and he can be Wimmer when we lose a game. All right, let's go for that. In the interest of fairness. Yeah. Um, and diversity. But he is so excited about coming to Spurs. I don't know if you've seen this on Twitter, Craig, but he's changed his Twitter header to be a picture of White Hart Lane with a bit of word art slash flaming text font. He's got yeah. on flamingtext.com. Yeah. He's gone back to 1998 and he's written, can't wait, and put it in a metallic font in all capitals over a picture of White Hart Lane. I, mean, I think it's quite sweet. Yeah. I think it's encouraging. It does make me think maybe he's a bit worse than we thought he was, if I mean, he's that excited to be coming to Spurs, but still, I think a note, well. I think a notable thing about it is the fact that he used, um, you know, grammar in it, you know, he spelt can't He's there, got the apostrophe, he's, he's got, got, in got there. the apostrophe You know, most placement. footballers yeah. wouldn't get that one in there, you know, a lot of them use spell check and stuff, so I don't know, but uh, yeah, he's got that in there, but there's something I find cringy about players brown nosing from the offset. As soon as they get right. in there, really trying to get in with the fans, I mean, I know I like he means it. well, he means well, but the brown nose in. Just wait until the results start piling in, Kevin. Just He's excited. At least, like, you look at all these other players we've got who don't seem that bothered. Chadley yeah. never seemed to express any interest. Yeah. Now, Ericsson, now he's expressing interest, but before he was just sort of like, yeah, I'll go there for two years yeah, and I'll go to Chelsea. Let your results do the talking well, someone first. Let me see how good he is first. I don't want to see all of this, you know, pro Spurs until I've seen you play. Once you put in some good results, you know, good performances, then you can start doing all that brown nosing. I also, I also like him because he's only got a third of the amount of Twitter followers I've got. So <laughs> I'm smashing it, guys. You follow, are. Make sure you follow me. Uh, and him, though. Come on, be fair. I don't want to be smashing him too hard. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're also excited about the fact that Harry Kane, wonder boy, Harry Kane, has finally come out and said he is completely happy. A big club, Spurs. Oh, and yeah. everyone needs to see us as a big club, which we already do see us as a big club. Yeah. And so does Kevin Vimmer, clearly. Uh, but he said he's not going to United. He's happy. Everything's great, and he's definitely not leaving. No player who's ever said they're definitely not leaving has ever left in the history of football, especially at Tottenham. So I believe it. Yeah, I mean, we saw this coming, Nostradamus. You know, we could predict this. Yeah. We only finished six points off Man United anyway. They're not. Yeah, what's the point in going to them? I mean, they are a bigger club, but, you know, in terms of recent results, are they that much bigger at this point in time? And we make 50 million profits. So, ha! Ah, huge club. Spurs. Exactly. Stay at Spurs, get us in Champions League, we'll win the Champions League with you, Harry Kane, at big club, massive club, Spurs, mm. and Kevin Wimmer. The, the good guys. Yeah. Uh, also, I'm not actually that excited about this, but supposedly the Spurs away shirt has now been leaked and it's some uh, kind of light baby blue number with mm. some navy blue across the middle. Yeah. It's kind of weird to me. Uh, it's not definitely the away shirt, but the away shirt hasn't come out yet, so people are speculating, is it mm. the real shirt? To me, it looks like the shirt you you sort of weird uncle mistakenly buys you on holiday thinking it's the real one because he couldn't, he was too cheap to buy you the proper one. But there is something that's got me perverted about it. The fact that AIA isn't in red. You know, you can always yeah. go right with that. You know, if it yes. is real or not, at least it's not in red. Cause but to be honest, red. I think that's just because blue and red clash. Yeah. Is it still rain, rain on the red parade? Yes. Rain right. on the red parade, all right. Yeah, I know, but that is good. But the kit itself is, I think, is a bit dodgy. It looks like a sort of crappy old yeah. training kit. I mean, where's the sash? That is the most prominent exactly. thing Exactly, you'd think we'd kit. go sash on everything if we were going to go sash Keep on one Keep it of consistent. Them. Yeah. But at least we're getting some speculation with the kits. I want to see the away yeah. kits. I want to see the third kit. Are we going Are we going yellow or are we going chocolate brown again? Ooh. Who knows? That's the end of part one of Spurverts. Join us in part two, where we'll be talking about... A bunch of things. Loads of things that we may or may not have decided on yet. <laughs> See you in part two. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. See you later. With ourselves and with you and ask ourselves, do we really hate Arsenal? If we were to break it down, if we were to put aside immaturity 